good evening everyone i welcome you all to this second uh, lecture in the unit 4 e line theory so the outline uh, of the presentation uh, assumptions in the e line theory sign convention for e line pattern and supports the guidelines for the e line uh, patterns then at last we have the we are going to practice few example uh, uh, problems on this uh, few few example uh, examples like how to draw the e-line pattern for different geometry and supporting positions so here in the assumption of the e-line analysis the first assumption says the reinforcement that is yielded along the e-line that is formed during the collapsed stage and the second uh, assumption says this slab is divided into different segments when it reaches or when it collapsed completely so this uh, slab is divided into different segments uh, with uh, the e line so this e lines are dividing this uh, the single slab into a divider segments and then next so here we are one considering the third assumption says the elastic deformations are neglected here we are one considering the plastic deformations and again uh, in the second assumption itself we have seen that individual segments are uh, of the slab again it behaves elastically so only this fracture or this along this e line only uh, it behaves plastically so we are uh, the entire deformations therefore take place only along the yield lines okay so these individual uh, slab segments uh, remain plain even in the collapsed so then comes your fourth assumption so the bending uh, and the twisting moment which will be distributed uniformly along this uh, yield line okay uh, the moment will be distributed uniformly along the yield line so that is your fourth assumption then um, so the moment values it completely depends upon the reinforcement the, uh, the amount of reinforcement reinforcement that we have given for the slab and then next the e lines are straight lines so you can see this e lines are straight lines it is not going zigzag way then uh, so this uh, as they are lines of intersection i mean this or the line of intersection so it, it, it behaves like a straight line then next the um, the last assumption here is the effect of shear or bond or deflection is completely neglected here in the e line so only are considering the moment so here we are going to see the sign convention uh, used uh, for e line pattern so we have uh, designated our standard sign convention so we can also make this a standard sign convention so this will be like a fixed one okay so the first one is free or unsupported edges we have free or unsupported edges. we have to rep we have to represent that with a straight line the plane line then fully supported edge then i uh, mean we have to use this symbol for fixed and continuous edge we have this uh, symbol and for positive e line so the positive e line generally occurs at the center of the slab segment the negative e line occurs at the support and then axis of rotation again the negative e line act as act uh, act as axis of rotation like that Line. so then beam support is uh, denoted with the help of double line then the column is with a rectangular box I mean hatched box or a solid rectangular symbol then a point load is with a round symbol so next we will see the guidelines for e line pattern to draw e line pattern so first guideline is so the fractured segment is rotate about a certain axis so which often we uh, we refer it as a line of support we often so this line of support maybe this line of support may be beam that we can have a beam here uh, so that is the slab is supported on the beam or your wall okay where the slab is supported or uh, sometimes we uh, even the line that is passing through a column so example we have a column here we have the column here so in case of flat slab we don't have a beam so in that case so the line that is passing through a uh, columns okay so that is often we consider it as a rotation uh, axis okay then the, the e line separating as two slab segments so you have one slab segment here and another slab segment here so the e line that is separating two slab segment generally pass through the point of intersection of two axis of rotation so yeah this is one axis of rotation this is another axis of rotation so this e line which uh, divides two slab segment will pass through intersection of this two axis of rotation so this all fractured segments uh, again it, it assumed to be planar 
and then next the posterior line it forms at the inferior region of the slab not at the exterior so generally posterior uh, line so forms in the posterior mona that is my hogging so that is the posterior line form in the inferior region of the slab and it is terminate the posterior line terminate at the boundaries you can see it's not extending outside the boundary so it ends in the boundary slab boundary next the negative yield line forms along the line of continuous or fixed support so the negative yield lines are at the supports or the boundaries so this is your negative yield line so the yield line should head at the boundary actually this yield line should head at the boundary of the slab line or so after that it won't extend or extend otherwise uh, this another when it meets another uh, yield line so there it has to end so then the yield line is representing the axis of rotation e lines will occur under point loads okay generally this e line occurs at the point loads so example if you have a point load here in the for example this is your the circular slab you have the point load and uh, if you have a point load so it start in the under the point load and it it will radiate outward and it end in uh, this e line will end at the boundary so that is what your last uh, guideline so here uh, you can see here for a different uh, geometry we have a different pattern of e line so for a square slab so we have this so what are the guidelines we we have seen so far so with uh, with the help of those guidelines we have to draw the e line patterns for a different geometry for a different supporting edge this one is square slab with a simply supported edges so you can see the simply supported to represent the um, simply supported edge we have the straight line and on that we have the cross line then uh, we have the square slab and uh, so for the same square slab for a different supporting edge for here it is a simply supported but here it is a fixed support so fixed support or continuous support for a fixed uh, support or continuous support we have additional we have negative yield line so we have in this case we have only the positive yield line but here we have only the uh, so we have uh, positive yield line at the center as well as a negative yield line at the boundaries and uh, here remaining all other supporting conditions are simply supported so here uh, you can see here so this is your um, simply supported slab so where you have only the positive yield line so the, we don't we don't have a negative yield line so also there uh, there is no rotation uh, resistance or uh, rotational resistance in the at the support so this is the practical uh, view of this uh, slab uh, that is tested in the lab so where you can see this um, so these are uh, the e lines okay the, the, these cracks of the uh, e lines so this is simply supported case so generally it appears in the bottom of the slab generally okay and uh, you, you can see this these are positive e lines so this is in the case of simply supported so you can see the hatching so this is this represents to a simply supported condition so here for uh, this continuous or fixed slab um, supporting condition so we have uh, we have this e line so that is we have the positive e line at the center at the negative e line at the support and so these are the positive e line so the same the positive e line generally uh, you can observe at the bottom of the slab okay so you can see this positive e lines and it ends at the boundary and next you have the e uh, negative e line that forms at the support or at the edges at the boundaries so that forms in the top okay being at the negative e line so it forms at the top of the slab so this is a practical uh, test in the, these are the slabs tested for e lines in the lab next so uh, here uh, the slab which is supported on edges uh, on two sides and uh, with one column so here the support is simply supported um, now if you look at this um, e line pattern here how to draw the e line pattern for this so uh, what we'll do is uh, first you have to first step you have to do is if you have a column then you have to uh, draw a line okay which is connecting the column and you have to extend that line on either side okay and then next uh, this uh, extension of the line uh, uh, the column line will meet uh, the other two support lines okay so that it, it intersects at some point okay and then next 
these uh, as per the guideline we have seen so this e lines will pass through intersection of two axis of rotation this is one axis of rotation this is another axis of rotation so this e line we have to draw a e line uh, such a way that this will pass through the intersection the same way here here one intersection one axis of rotation this is another axis of rotation so this we have to draw an e line um, which can intersect the, the uh, this point and as we know this c line will stop at the boundary of the slab it will not extend further then here also so here we have one ex, uh, axis of rotation this is another axis of rotation this now the e line will um, will pass through intersection of two axis of rotation so uh, again this also stops here because it is a boundary of your slab so this way we can uh, draw a number of e lines in the uh, number of e line patterns for the different geometries for the different shapes and uh, this is again um, this is also simply support the same case what we have discussed there the same problem here we have a circular uh, slab which is supported on uh, columns not uh, there is no support on the edges only it's supported on the column so what we do is we'll draw the straight lines for four columns so for all the columns all sides of column we are uh, drawing a straight line the line of support and it uh, intersects okay at some point with another uh, the line of uh, support so here this um, e line will 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 pass through the intersection of two axis of rotation so this e line will pass through this two axis of rotation this e line will pass through two axis of rotation so also it ends in the boundary okay it would it won't extend further so this is how you have to draw the so for this type of supported condition that is supported on three sides three at one end um, we can draw a e line whether this way or even we can draw even this way also so either way of doing is fine so hope you all uh, can draw e line pattern for a different geometry for different supported condition so you can try out many problems so you can uh, so that you can understand this concept better Thank you.